a wonderful athlete, very strong, beautiful action, but a very strong mind. And I promise you, if she was in this room and you asked her opinion about anything, what's going to happen in the election, she'd have a very strong opinion. And the great thing about her is if you listen and watch, go with the flow, go with the way they are. And the trainer must never do force anything, the trainer must never try and take a shortcut. It never works. There's a golden rule in our game, patience and understanding. She's got lots of personality, lots of presence. Uh, she's strong, powerful, she's uncomplicated, and she's got their will to win. You know, she wants to uh, be in front of the pack, and uh, it makes my life easy. And uh, she's an incredible horse to watch. She's very versatile, she can win from the front, win from the back. Uh, and people have got to love her, and uh, let's enjoy one more year. She, she did wonderfully, you know, uh, we started late, winning the Eclipse, under a hand ride. Winning the King George after under one flick, winning the Yorkshire Oaks. The problem in the arc was the ground was heavy and the jockeys misread it. They went far too hard, far too fast. The sectional times tell the truth. They walked the last furlong and a half. They walked. And, and we were beaten by a better stare in, the, in, in deep ground. So full marks to them. She did nothing wrong. She ran a great race. Now magical. White cap goes on. Enable in second place. She's two lengths behind. 400 meters to go. Here's Japan and also Soxas with their challenges. Volka is behind those, but 300 meters to go. Enable has the lead. Soxas in the green colors in second. Volka is the red down the outside. They're coming to the last furlong now. And it's Enable in front. She leads. Volka in second place. Is closing down the center. Volka in the red jacket is getting up. He's won. Pierre-Charles Boudot was one of four guys, beats and able. The decision was made by Prince Charlie. You, you must remember he really enjoys watching his horses race. And um, I think from that point of view, he's always been a great competitor. He breeds wonderful horses, but I think he felt he enjoys watching a race, so I'd like to see a race. And when you look at it, I mean, yes, she's six years old, but she only got all her teeth at four. So they're still relatively young thoroughbreds. And obviously, if you're talking other horses, they, some of them reach their peaks at nine and 10. Too early right now, uh, but I will consult with everybody and we'll make a plan. And then the filly will tell me what to do.